Welcome to the Kentucky X-Files, Season 2, with your hosts, Dennis Mays, Tyler Stewart, and Josh Gibbs. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts, so you never miss an episode. Now, on to our show. Welcome back, guys, to your Kentucky X Files. <gasps> like, One like, day. are you like being robbed? Is that bird being robbed that time? Like, because you're like, <laughs> put your hands up, you're like, ah! or is it raising the roof? <laughs> or raising the roof? Yeah. Yeah, please. I don't know. Yeah. One of these days, though, I'm gonna, I want to like, not get on the video until the very last second, mm-hmm. and then I want to be in a full like two can. <laughs> just for this one thing at the beginning of the show i love it <gasps> i don't even know the sound that a toucan makes if i'm being are honest. you gonna are you gonna do your magic trick to do that yeah <laughs> oh, <laughs> that took you a second off. <laughs> well, like, we are we already got crap talk for it last time for that was before yeah. we even did video that's true <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eh, who cares i don't care who cares? That guy's gone. <clears throat> oh, before we get into this, I wanted to I want to throw this out there because I thought it was funny and it was something I said and someone commented on it. So I thought it was pretty cool. Uh <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Fucking daddy. laughs> you're, you're not you're you're not fooling anybody. You're you're <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um Stefan commented on our last episode. Yeah, I know he he he, he comments re- uh, regularly, like Russ. Uh, but uh, he said, gr- uh, "Great show! Can't wait for the Earthmart T-shirts." Earthmart. <laughs> yeah, because I, I say that that's what like is Earth like a, sh- a stopping center for them. It's like, yeah. hey, let's stop at Earthmart. I was hoping that we'd also see some comments on the uh, like Wyoming has been removed from the T-shirt. I know, and the, I know, know. Yeah. but but I mean, doesn't this just kind of you know add credence to my theory? Nobody from Wyoming said, "Hey, yeah, we're you, here." You know, you're kind of <clears throat> you're kind of forcing people to comment on this because. If they don't comment, they're making you more right. The, the funny this thing is, devious. is, this is evil. <laughs> it's this, brilliant, right? <laughs> yeah. The way that this is going right now, people are believing in Sasquatch more than they are people from Wyoming. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> There's probably a little town of Sasquatches sitting there, like, you know what? I I have never met anybody from Wyoming. Yeah. Did we ever pass through there before? And they they're, they're trying to do <laughs> selfies, but they're just blurry on their. You know what I mean? They can't. Mm-hmm. They yeah, can't do they it can. in front of the sign. Yeah, yeah. it sucks. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, they, we'd have to get like the Patterson Gimlin one. Yeah. Was that a Super 8 that they were recording on? It's still yeah. blurry. It's still kind of blurry, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it was the clearest photo I've ever seen in my, um, just, since I've... All I'm going to say uh, to you all you listeners out there is that Joshua <clears throat> really does have you in check right, right now. I mean, if you don't comment something about Wyoming, it's you're pretty <laughs> much making him right. Eight. I mean, yep. he's right. <laughs> I'm on his side on this because... I don't know anybody from Wyoming. I have I don't no reason to yeah. believe that Wyoming's even real. I can't believe this is a second episode of this topic and this is still going on. <laughs> I, love I love it. it. It's I great. It. So you guys uh you guys interested in some ghost stories? Yeah. I got a, I had a pretty fun week. I had a guy named Tim riding with me and he confided some pretty cool stuff to me some of it's a you know kind of creepy but well there's one part of it that when he told me i'm like he actually told me after the fact so i got two recordings because i forced him to let me record the other stuff because he told me one and i'm like dude why where was that you dropped a bombshell and, and that was you know we already recorded so uh yeah i have his i have his recordings if you guys want to hear him and then kind of if you want me to pause at any time to to discuss anything you hear just you know, give me a little like, little wink, a little like a, you know what I mean. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Anyway, here's the first part, and I'm gonna try not to blast you guys' ears out. When uh, good. Hold on one second here. I never did. I didn't edit these down or anything, so. You're going to hear some cars and shit in the background. Monday, November 28th. I'm here with Tim. You were living at a buddy's? I was uh, I was going through a divorce. Okay. So I was living in my uh, buddy's basement. And I guess towards the end of my time there, um, it, was, it was every single night. I'd turn out the light. And in the corner by the stairs, I would see this figure. It looked like a shadow, but I'd always, it didn't, it wasn't, it didn't try to get me. It didn't move. It was always stationary in that spot, but it was definitely watching me. And it was, it was, I no longer believe in coincidence because not long after I started seeing that, my buddy came to me and said, we are losing our house. Wow. Did you ever flip the light on to see if it was maybe something like a shadow casted there? Well, um, there wasn't, that's, a, that's a detail I didn't fail to mention, too. Um, there was a light. They always kept that kitchen light on. Okay. And that door open at the top. So right where it was, was plenty of light so there shouldn't have been a shadow and the there. only thing that was near it was a lamp that yeah. wasn't a shadow from a lamp gotcha that was the shape of a human body wow or at least the upper because I, I never saw like you know shapes of feet or anything i just i could see its arms its hands wow that, that like detailed yeah wow but the face was nothing there just shut up and that's all i ever did was just stare at me no kidding so i gotta ask like i mean people (laughs) people who hear this are gonna want to know like what kind of feeling did you get from it the first couple times i was i was terrified freaked out i was terrified i didn't sleep i actually turned the tv back on because it made me feel like all right if there's sound if there's noise yeah I'm good, but then after a while, when I realized that that's all it was doing was watching me, it's like, oh, well. Yeah, I mean, what do you I do? I guess I'll just go to sleep. All right. You said something, uh, also you saw something that was like a, almost like a smaller, like a small child? Yes, this was, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I guess maybe six, almost a year ago, right after I moved in where I'm living now. Yeah. Um, 
I it was I was actually coming to where I, where we where we work, um, and I walked out to my car, and I saw it. it looked like it was the same thing as that in my buddy's basement. It was a little shadow figure, but yeah. it looked like the size of a child. And it looked like he was peeking around my car at me, and at first, I thought. Is there a child running around out here? Yeah. So I, I didn't walk over. I actually ran over and turned on my light. Nothing. Oops. Nothing. So this one and was it's not like there gone. was bushes there for him to hide in. And yeah, you would have heard I mean, something too. I mean, if I it... couldn't hear. It, didn't hear footsteps. Uh, I mean, how fast can a baby child run? Well, they can get moving. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's true. But <laughs> they can get I mean, your little legs there was going. Nothing. Yeah. And, then and you, I did, I actually did ask later that day, my neighbor. Yeah. And she said no. She was with her mom. Okay. She said my daughter was with her mom. With, or her, with, you know, her grandmother, my mom. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, all right, well then, I don't know what that was. <laughs> and then you said that uh, you had one uh, encounter where, where your, your dog actually reacted this is this is the encounter that made me believe in this stuff. Um, I don't know, maybe I was ten or something like that. It was one of the first times my parents left me home alone. Um, I was I had a German Shepherd, yeah, and uh, we, I was in the basement with them just watching TV, and I fell asleep. I woke up and the electric was out in the just in the basement. Um, and I looked over at the steps and he was looking up at the back door growling at something and I, was, I thought alright what's what's going on and we went upstairs to that back door yeah um, and I heard doorknob jiggling real hard like somebody was trying to get in and the dog stayed right in front of that door and just stared out that window. Didn't growl, didn't do nothing, just yeah. stared. I My say, dog was a very well-behaved dog. When I say come, he comes, and he did not come, so that wasn't normal for him. I can say from experience, too, having a bigger dog, and you know how fearless they get, when they're, when they're afraid of something, it, it gives you, it's a worse feeling then if something just scares you because you almost think, well, if it's scaring you, should I be concerned? Yep. But yeah. And then you said there was, um, and let's see, like a claw mark or something. I think you mentioned. And, uh, after I just stood there and stared at him yeah. and watched him because he wouldn't come to me. I just let him do what he was going to do. And then all of a sudden it's like he snapped out of a trance, looked at me and just started wagging his tail. Wow. I walked outside, and the only sign of anything that I saw was there was a claw mark next to the doorknob on the outside. That was the only time I felt fearful like from any yeah. type of entity, and I've had a few. It's pretty wild. With your so yeah, that's the first half. What do you guys think of that? <coughs> I mean, the kid thing is obviously yeah. extremely creepy. Oh yeah, yeah. I felt, <laughs> the, I felt the uh, when he when he was telling me about that too. You know, he's he, he kind of puts you right there with him. Like you guys, obviously, you weren't there in person with him like I was, but he's sitting there telling it to me. He's you could you could see it like this shit freaked him out. You know, and you kind of get freaked out just from. From the other person's, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, from their reaction. Right. But when he talked about the dog, you know, the dog reacting to something, staring, you know, into the darkness, growling and shit, I was like, yeah, I've, I've, I've had that happen. Yeah. I've had, I've, you know, my old dog, he, he did that before where he was staring into the darkness, you know, growling at nothing. And then he did the one where he got freaked out and ran in the house because something was outside scaring him, you know, that shit. I don't know. When the dog's scared. It's like, just like I said in the recording, you know, it's like, if you're, if you're freaked out, then I'm freaked out. 
<laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. Remember the the night where uh, on your <clears throat> your camera where the the thing growled at you? I was just about to say the same thing. Yeah. It's like, what was Leroy doing? What was his reaction? You know, like he like he was dead still. Yeah. You know, like that's I think that's the one thing that made me. I guess give me the more cold chills than anything was the fact that when you take, when you take Leroy out, you know, he's ready to go out. Yeah. Getting him to come back in until he's ready. Isn't an easy task. Yeah, yeah. And all I did was jiggle his leash a little bit and go, yeah, let's go get a flashlight buddy. Yeah. And let's go. And he went right back into the house with me. So, you know, that's, like I, at first, I thought I was hearing crap, right? Until I realized he was hearing crap. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. You could I yeah. remember in the old uh, the old video uh, when you you react. You're, you know what I mean. You could see it. Both, yeah, both of you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I think with him being lower to the ground, he was hearing the echo bouncing off the vehicle, so he was kind of like looking forward. Yeah. I'm much taller than the dog, obviously, so I'm hearing over the vehicles, right? And, you know, we kind of do one of these. He's looking this way. I'm looking this way. <laughs> yeah. The hell was that? You know? is it? What is it? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that, <clears throat> the dog thing is, you know, dogs do creepy shit all the time. Leroy yeah. still does it in the house. He'll just stand and stare into a dark corner. I hate when for, they do that. Has anybody ever, has anybody said, like, why they do that? Like, I know that the, everybody believe like, believes that it's ghost or they're seeing something that's yeah. that you can't see but has anybody actually dug deep into that like can't like do they see things that really can they see things I don't know. that we can't I, mean, I know it's I, people suspect it yeah. I can tell you right now that's one thing that I've never desired to research cuz mm-hmm. Leroy loves to stand and stare up the staircase Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. That's a yeah. very unfortunate spot that he likes to stare. <laughs> yes. Well. Yeah. Yeah. He does that. And the one time in particular was, it was funny after the fact, but during the event, it was no fun. Um, <clears throat> it was a Saturday and I was home alone and uh, I heard something thumping around upstairs. Like, like it jumped off of a bed and ran to the other end of a, the house up there. And I was like, what the hell is Leroy doing? <laughs> and I look over and he's on the couch next to my chair with his paws <laughs> up on the pillow, looking at me like, what the hell's that noise up there? <laughs> what the hey, hell is like, Leroy doing up oh, there? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped off the couch and walked over and stood and stared. You you guys have been in my place, so yeah. you know by the, yeah. the steps going up. Yeah. He just kind of stood at the bottom of the steps and just stared up. So, you know. I got up and we both just kind of stared up for a little while. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we were expecting. <laughs> yeah. I have Nobody no idea what we're to commit. Nobody went. Yeah, yeah no, we're, we're like, yeah, yeah. we'll stay here. We'll <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you both while. like you're sta- uh, standing at the bottom of the <laughs> stairs and you're like looking at each other. You guys like you're not talking to each other, but you guys are both asking the question like, are yeah. you going to go up? Yeah, <laughs> are you going to go up? <laughs> I'm not going up. You going up? I'm not I'm going, going up. up. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is your house. Yeah, you're my. Manager. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> you should protect me. No, right. this is not how it works. It's this amazing how the- fast a dog will sleep. like they'll sell you out just like that. You know? They're, yeah, they're yeah. Like, he I was made his best friend until there's danger. I'm fairly certain that if something would have come down that steps at us, Leroy would have tripped me on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <gasps> I don't have to be faster than it, just faster than you. Good luck, Scooter. I'm sorry. He's running into the living room. (laughs) I'm sorry. This doesn't mean that I don't love you. Bye bye. (laughs) I know I betrayed you. I'm sorry. I feel terrible. (laughs) Yeah, man. So that's uh, (laughs) anytime you got any story where you've got a dog reacting or you've got shadow children, Mm -hmm. the the creep factor is just, you know, through the roof. Definitely. Just. Yeah, so that's. Uh, so I'm curious to hear the rest of this. Yeah, now. I've got a little bit more from Tim, and uh, all right, I'll I'll, pull, I'll get it ready here and, and play it for you guys. Uh, there's gonna there's one piece in here that he brings up, which is not gonna give us a whole lot of details that I know we wanted months ago, but we've got a little bit of a puzzle piece on a local folklore, and 
we brought it up to a third party, a lady who lives around here, and she actually pointed us a little bit further um, the direction to go to maybe find some more details about this subject. So I'll play it. I, I can't remember what order he talks about the stuff in, but we'll just let it rip. And, you know, I might pause in between his sections just to just to clarify. Because I know some people aren't going to know what I'm talking about, but here it goes. It's recording. I'm recording. Right, um, Fuck it. <laughs> let's see. Again, I was proud. Again, it was another one when I was ten, maybe. No. I lived. I was, as I've said before. I think I don't know if I said it. I lived in the basement at my uh, parent when I was at home. Um, you know, the everybody does the little play around, say Bloody Mary three times in a mirror or whatever. Sure. Well, uh, I decided to do it. And uh, it was, I had the light off. Again, as I said, it's, you, I don't know, I'm sure people know, like when you, when it's dark, but you can put your hand in front of your face and still see the shape. Yeah. I saw a shape. And I swear there was someone standing in front of me between the mirror and me. And it was small, like possibly a child little girl. Yeah. And I didn't leave it on long enough to figure it out. I just, I got scared and put the light back on and <laughs> went out into the living room. Yeah. Nope, nope. Nope. Um, damn, what was the other one? So Time to it, run. He did the, he did the Bloody Mary thing. Yeah. Thou never, never going to do it. Like there's nothing I about it that did, makes me. Yeah. I don't even know like saying it. No, you know, so I feel like she's gonna pop up in the in the camera behind Tyler, and it's gonna be. I love that you say name. Will you get the darkest room? Yeah, oh, there yeah. you go. There, it, it brightened up. I think <laughs> I see her, but I'm... I don't think you know. Yeah. So <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> what if like somebody was standing there? Like I know on my screen, like. You're going to see people constantly on mine, but none of them are Bloody Mary. I just said it twice, too. That was two times. You were not looking into a mirror. That's true. But Gibbs' camera is screwing up. This is true. Oh, yeah. His camera messes up, and you literally see Bloody Mary in the... I mean, would that be like, we're done? That's... Okay, it's still, like... I feel like I get that. I, be yeah, good... that, that would be a done, yeah, but I still like... want to know... Listeners, we have a group chat, and sometimes we'll call each other, FaceTime, like, hey, what, what, what are we going to talk about tonight? Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Before these two got on, I got a video of a guy in a mask playing a guitar. I remember And then this. it just cuts out. I was like, who? <laughs> who was that? I was like, can, can people hijack your Facebook call? Yeah. I, I believe I that they could, but, this, but it still creeps me out. I was like, this was you guys playing the guitar with a mask? Yeah, because it, it was, yeah, because I remember it was the, uh, it was back before we did the Black Triangle episode. And we, mm -hmm. this, we actually, after this happened, we had the conversation where we sort of stumble upon <laughs> our theory of how, you know, the UFOs would work. Yeah. And he, <laughs> I was the first one to answer. And he's like, were you just playing guitar wearing a luchador mask or something like that? <laughs> I'm like, I'm, dri <laughs> no. I'm driving. I'm, you're on my dash, you know, looking yeah. at me. I'm driving down the road. No, no, I wasn't. <laughs> so crazy, man. I don't know. I don't yeah. know how to explain that. Yeah, uh, It's still creeps. I, I, it didn't, like, yeah, it would be more creepy if it was just, like, a random, like, video of a person in the middle yeah. of the woods like <sighs> like that but it was a guy playing guitar and a mask like okay he yeah. was like maybe i just got hacked and somebody just like hey <laughs> i got you just like, like but hear still me on this for a second ty if you were yeah. sitting there you're watching tv or something your phone rings and it literally says video call from the not deer <laughs> are you answering it i mean would you kind of like I kind of want. I kind of have to. I was like, I gotta. Ha I I have to. I want to know. Like, okay, it like, knows my number on the screen. He's like, hi Tyler. Hi Tyler. And he's got like his his nah. like, 
Uh, no, it, most likely, if it would have yeah. said the not deer, and yeah. then I'd answer it, he's like, "Hi, Kyle, I'm calling about your air car's extended <laughs> work." <Hey. laughs> yeah, like tries to fool you, guy. Like these the people deer. are tra- like people are getting <laughs> the not deer in on this shit too. Hey, the not deer's got to make money just like the rest of us. Yeah, no. So, what if the fellow that was playing guitar in a mask? had the same reaction you did you know he's like whoa because you call from a dark room like right now you've got a lot calling me (laughs) right it was pitch black yeah i wasn't naked (laughs) you know your room was you you had your room you called from like pitch black because like i i only saw you like when you got this far away from it that is true so like you what if he was what if he was sitting there playing guitar for somebody else and all of a sudden you pop up and he's like I was like, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have good lighting in my room. Literally, my lighting right now, this blue, is my TV playing a 10 hour blue screen to give me some nice blue hue. Nice. That's why you keep it keeps going in and out. It's because it goes to I got ads, so I'm yeah. literally paying somebody for a blue screen right now. <laughs> so hey, this is low budget. Low yeah. budget right we now. I'm sorry. Gotta you you, you yeah. got to do what you got to do. We do what we got to do. But I wanted to say this back when you guys were talking because you guys had like a little couple like random experiences. Yeah. Uh, there was this one time I thought it was really fucking weird in my house. Yeah. Like I was down in my room. I was just sitting there. No one was home. And I could hear like, you know, like on hardwood floor, high heels. You could hear like the like the actual yeah. the sound it would make and then i was like what the fuck is in the, like what's making that sa-? it sounded like footsteps in high heels so i was like there was no way i was like i believe it wholeheartedly that it was high heels and somebody was walking upstairs <laughs> and then i go upstairs and like nothing was going like n- nothing was moved out of place nothing looked weird yeah that looked weird um <laughs> <laughs> Your what camera razor stuff going on. Yeah, there. I was gonna say, what is going on with my screen? Yeah, <laughs> but uh, when I went up there, nothing was out of place. Nothing looked like suspicious. Yeah, but when I walk downstairs, I get this huge like whiff of perfume. I was like, sexy ghost time. I was like, what was the like? I like nothing. Like, not, I like. I was like, where the fuck did this perfume come from? I'm just so that, waiting for a hand to like come out of the darkness <laughs> onto his shoulder. Like, <laughs> no, it's, 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 like gently, like caresses my cheek. Like you look like, down at our <laughs> screens and you see me and him both. Like <laughs> it's gonna be like phasmophobia. Yeah. Like he's just gonna be there, and all of a sudden these fingers are gonna come around. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, that 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 happened. So I was a little I was a little taken. Taken, taken, taken to the, like, I don't know. I don't Taken know. aback. Taken aback. That's what I was going to, not, thank you. Thank you, Gibbs. Um, <clears throat> but there was one other time. It was kind of like what he was saying. I didn't do the Bloody Mary thing. It was, like, late at night. It was, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. I think I woke, uh, I woke up uh, to go to the bathroom. You, you, you didn't do the what thing? What thing? I, I, I cut out the what thing didn't you, didn't you do? I don't know. <laughs> I just. You said I didn't do the Mary thing. I didn't. Oh. I couldn't hear it. What, what was it? Oh no! I I I didn't do that. So I just woke up <laughs> to go uh, go to the bathroom. I get into the bathroom and then uh, as I got out, like there was no lights on in the house. I just like I turned the light off before I left the bathroom. Yeah. And you know, like that feeling when somebody like gets close to your face, like, like comes like really close yeah, up. Yeah, I felt that, and I, I feel like I, 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 it's weird to explain, but it felt, and actually, like my brain was like trying to, like, think it was a face. Like my brain, like I immediately thought it was like someone, like what the fuck, like somebody like came up in front of me like that. And I was like, what? A very so, interesting I, series yeah. of events, honestly. 
So I I don't know like know what like I just like the feeling of that like coming up to me. But yeah. after that, I was like, I was like, I turned the light on. I'm like, dude, you know, I could tell you, uh, I have this thing on Tuesdays. I call uh, my spooky poop, <laughs> and it's in the in the early morning. I you know, I have to use the bathroom, and the only place I can do it. There's this very very empty place that I go to. You know, that has to do with my job. And I, I can tell you that the worst time for any kind of haunting thing would be when you're at your most vulnerable, and that's when you're you're pooping. That's uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's the it, zombie. Uh, what was it? Zombie Land that said that. And that's yeah. Beware that's of bathrooms. Literally, yeah. I really feel like it, the worst case scenario is it. Pl- like, what if you're like you know. What if you're? It's like a, it's a it's a decent one where you're you're not getting up and getting away. Yeah, I you know? I even say that about like in like home invasions. I like hope that I'm at least watching like TV. I have my pants on. Yeah. It's like if they break in while I'm either a on the, yeah. the toilet or b in the. Sh- I mean, if, like, you I, know I get I, mean? I, I guess because unless like I don't know, they might not fight you. Like, because you're say, walking out like, what are you doing? Your junk's all out and stuff. Like, I'm going to say right now that I, I can, I, just from my personal opinion, yeah. any one of the three men that I see on this screen right now, yeah. if you were to uh, confront an intruder butt naked with a weapon, <laughs> that's going to be far more terrifying than anything else that could happen. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know, because that's, uh, you know, <laughs> what, okay, that's, so that's creepy. So it's early in the morning. You know, you're 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 doing your Mountain Dew, right? Your your morning Dew, right? Mm-hmm. You're sitting there. Maybe you're even flipping through your phone, and then you hear, "Help me, Tyler." He <laughs> doesn't know my name. And then it's like you don't know where it's coming from. It's the not. It's the not ghost. The not deer ghost. Anyway, I'm sorry. Do you want to? Do you guys want to hear some more Tim's Tim story? Yeah, I feel oh, like God. everybody else like it's like come on, get this back to his story. Yeah, I'm so sorry. You three idiots need to shut up and let him <laughs> talk. All right, here we go. Here we go. Another one wasn't really. Another one didn't really scare me. It just to this day I don't really know what what the deal with it was. I was in my room and it just went on for two weeks. And I would hear, it sounded like a group of people laughing outside my window. And every time I'd go to look out the window, they would stop and the outside light would turn off. Huh. And I thought, maybe my sister and her friends are oh, yeah. playing in the yard. And I asked my sister, I said, what are you guys doing out there? She said, I was in bed. What are you talking about? I'm like, oh. So there's a group of ghosts out there or something. And then after two weeks, it just stopped. I don't know what happened there. Yeah. I've heard of that, though. That one, when you told me that one, I, I, I've i heard of that. Where, uh, especially the child crying thing. Yes. And I've even made the joke <clears throat> on the show, like, if something's trying to lure me into the woods, that's the worst sound to choose because I'm not going. Yes. I'm not. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not doing it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> you call me what okay. you will, but I'm not falling for that shit. <laughs> I've seen too many horror movies. And uh, earlier, you told me about uh, you've been wondering about this uh, the pig woman. Oh yeah, yeah, here. the hog woman. Oh, um, there she is. Nice. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Um, my uncle talked about it when I was a kid. He he didn't say if he ever saw it, and I don't know if it was just some stupid story he was telling me, yeah, or if it was legit. But he said it was a woman who you know, was ugly, pretty basically. All right. Um, on her wedding day, her uh, husband to be. Dis- disappeared. Nobody knows if he killed himself or whatever. And then she was so sad that she killed herself 
and to this day she will walk through the woods in her dress looking for a husband and there's wow. some similarities there that's one I, I told you I was uh, I've yeah. been looking for more more details about yeah. cause I've heard of it I've heard about the hog woman and uh, you know uh, what was my cousin when I asked him about it he was like that's eh, just some story they told to keep us out of the woods at night yeah, yeah. But even he went on to say, you know, it's it's nothing. But at the same time, he's like, I mean, don't get me wrong. He's like, I have heard, you know, weird, you know, I've seen and experienced weird shit in our woods, you know. Yes. So it's it's one of the things. It's like you you don't want to believe it, but how far back do you have know. to go to get to the what really happened? Yeah. You ever seen that? So I'm gonna pause it for a second. They, they, I noticed that this the version of the hog woman that he was given. It, it matches up with the lady in white, like big time, but it doesn't always. You know, the the hog woman is kind of a there's there's several different uh, several different versions of this that I've heard so far, and that one really feels like it's 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 got it's just taken a lot of the the lady in white and kind of just blended in in with this hog woman. Another one I heard was that it was a woman that apparently they they kept calling her that like they were they were making fun of her like they were making fun of her looks and apparently there's something something there I I don't know but I promised a lady who gave me that piece of information that if it turns out that it has something to do with uh, an actual person and that it turned out that they were just tormenting her or, or teasing her or whatever that we would squish it big time because i told her i was like we're not we're not wanting to exploit something like that mm-hmm. so uh, i'll go on there's a few minutes left of what he's got to i really wanted you guys to hear the the very last thing that he tells me about because this is the one where i made him i made him tell me and let let me record it because it was pretty profound it really hit hit home for me here on uh uh pretty close to here there's three mounds. They call them the witches' mounds. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay. Like, where did that come from? The witch. Remember the witches' tree? Yeah. And they, for years, they tried to cut that damn thing down. Yep. Machine, like big, you know, industrial machines get there. They start working on it, something breaks. You know, they never could cut it down, and then finally they got it down. So I don't know. And uh, let's see. Going again, going off of something we talked about earlier today. Yeah. Um, skinwalkers. Um, my grandpa's grandmother was a not or she was a Mohawk Indian descent, yeah. and she would tell him stories about skinwalkers. Right. And um, he uh, he said he. He said he thought they were bedtime stories, but now he knows different. Huh. But that was it. That was it, huh? He wouldn't yep. go into, into detail. I, I did try to ask him, and he he said that's all. Well. He just went silent, and uh, it was obvious he didn't want to tell me anymore, so he I never, he's, he's, um, passed away now so I'll never know but I would like to have well, known if he actually did see one because I think he did well, I've the last it. one the last one yeah, yeah. this one is a was a very good one about my grandpa again um, I'm a firm believer the dad can speak to you in your dreams um, I was going through my divorce and a bunch of other stuff that was kind of, I was depressed. I just didn't want to, I wanted to crawl in a hole and just hide, yeah. you know. Right. Um, in my dream, it was like I was in my dream. I was asleep in my dream. Yeah. And I woke up in the, you know, and he was standing over me. Standing, which was crazy because he was in a wheelchair and had an oxygen tank on this. Hip. Yeah. And he just said, Everything's gonna be okay. I love you. And then I woke up. It was like 
it felt good because he told me what he said, but then it's, did you make it into heaven or are you stuck here? Yeah. And that was kind of sad, but, um, well, he was right. Everything's great now. <laughs> yeah. Everything turned out just how he said. I was, I was just saying earlier is, uh, I understand that, that whole scenario, you know, it's, it's like, it's awesome because, you know, for that moment, you're like, oh, it's almost, you don't even think of it like, oh my God, you know, what are you doing here? You're literally like, oh, there you are. Yeah. It's weird how your brain does that. But then when you wake up, it's like, you have to take the positive from it, but there's that other side of it where it's, yeah. it, I felt like I was losing these people over and over again. And I did, I hated that feeling. It messed yes. me up. It would mess me up for weeks on end. I, I spent, you can ask uh, my friends, there was like a seven to eight year long period where I was completely withdrawn from everybody. Yeah. And it was really hard for even my friends to, to get a hold of me, even family, because this was all going on. And uh, I was, I was kind of like, I didn't want to face people. I didn't want to, I didn't want to try to explain yeah. what was going on. Like, yeah, I've been having these crazy dreams where my yeah. relatives are coming and talking to me, you know, how do you, how do you even broach that subject? You know, but yeah, I totally understand that. I definitely appreciate you sharing this shit with me. You know, I know the listeners are going to appreciate it. I know? enjoyed it too. It was nice not being mocked. Well, I know. Saying it and people not mocking you. We, uh, like I said earlier, is, uh, our, our thing is, it's like a campfire. Yeah. You sit down at the fire, tell your story, and that's it. There it is, yeah. No, nobody needs to mock you. You know what I mean? That's kind of the whole point. It's at what point, you know, what, what do they say? You know, it it takes one eyewitness to put you in prison. Yes. But it's that. but then when someone says they've seen something, we tear them apart. Yep. How come? When, at what point do we draw the line? You know, when do we stop trusting our fellow man at his word? You know, and that's yeah. that's kind of like I, that's what I love. The show kind of breaches that. Like, hey, look, right. we're not doing that. We're you know, you get, gather around, <laughs> tell your story. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we take from it what we will. Awesome. Yes. Like uh, I know our other guy Tyler on the show. He says, you know, this could be another puzzle piece that's missing from somebody else's puzzle. Oh yeah. So everybody kind of pulls from each other. It's kind of like build, building a community or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And you'll you'll definitely be hearing this on. Uh, Probably the next next couple of episodes, I'm sure it'll it'll be awesome. on there. You know, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop this. Unless you got anything else you want to add. That's all I got. Awesome. It was really cool that Tim uh, would share that stuff. You know, especially the dream thing. It's a very <coughs> very uh, it's a very intimate thing. You know, very personal. Yeah. You know, I was really I was really excited to get that and. He was super excited to be able to tell it, you know, and like I said, not, he wasn't telling somebody that was just going to sit and make fun of him. Like I'm legitly, you know, interested. You know, the, the shadow people stuff, that's the one that uh, just blows me away at how many people are saying they've seen it. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, cause I was thought I was kind of crazy growing up because I don't know about you guys, but my shadow guy was always a man in a hat. Yeah, and it seems like that's like everybody else's. Yeah, the man in the hat. Some, it's yeah. Um, when when I bought this place, I actually had to change the porch lights because the one was by the front door, yeah. and the shape of it looked like a man in a hat. Oh, and every geez. time me and Sam would walk <laughs> by, it would yo, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. <laughs> yeah. I understand the man in the hat though. That's. Man, that, that that one in particular is so profoundly, you know, widespread. That it's and like, it's it's the know? same story every yeah. time. You know, it doesn't matter who's telling it. It's never malevolent. It's never, you know, attacking anybody. Yeah, it's just there, kind of hanging out. That's how Dave said his was. Yeah. You know, that's how all these other people I see. You know memes you know it was like if you saw this you know you know there it would be whatever you know yeah on on facebook and you would see the 200 comments and 
nobody is mocking anybody else. It's, yep, saw myself. Yep, yeah. saw myself. You know, yeah. and it's always the same thing. It's weird and he, how, how and the meme looks like what I've seen. <laughs> you know, that's the thing yeah. is weird. It's like, how can somebody just take something that I know that wasn't tangible, but yeah. that I'd seen it, and turn it into a piece of art? And all these other people go, yeah, that's the one I saw too. Yeah, it's dude, it, it is, it's crazy. You know, the, yeah. the shadow people, the shadow children, uh, the man in the hat. You know, it's a, the more you, the more you dig, the more you find, and the more yeah. you find, the more it's like, damn, dude, really? Especially when the little details, you know, start to emerge, like lesser known details. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's when I think it's it starts to to get more more crazy. Like I was. Yeah, having a conversation. Me, me and Tim all day the other day. We just talked about this stuff all day. You know, we we're just bouncing all these things off each other. And I told him that you know, there's what gets me is when when you're investigating something and you get to say two different eyewitnesses with you know multiple levels of of separation between the two, and it isn't the big uh, similarities that that get me. It's always the small ones the very easily overlooked similarities in the story is usually where I am like, okay, <laughs> does everybody notice that? You know what I mean? Just little right. stuff like that. I like, uh, I, I do the same thing in regards to like the cryptids, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know. Little details are what's going to bring answers in my opinion. You know? Right. It's like, at a, I don't know who was it. Uh, I can't remember. Somebody I know had told me it was outside of this group had literally said that they think they've seen a man in a hat, but they gave me a really, really descript, uh, like the way they described it, you know, the, the hat itself. And then all the way down to what they thought the shape of the boots were. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Cause he, I, I think, I think it might've been Scott said it i can't remember but he, scott talked about it on an episode did he i've really? always yeah mm -hmm. i've always like we're yeah, probably like was. under the impression of the head style was like hopefully our listeners or some country fans montgomery gentry that yeah. we like that i can't i want to try to so figure out esteban would, esteban hat I would just <laughs> see. I would describe like a flat it. Flat bill. Yeah. Esteban three times. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I would describe it like um, an infomercial. Turn yeah. On. Right. I see. Like to me, it was like uh, you. Like if you, if I was to say to you, picture a 1920 straw boss. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yep. That that flat. It's like borderline between like western and religious. Yeah. You know, like an exactly. Am oh, okay, an Amish head is more like what I was like depicting, but yeah. I think the Amish head, it's not flat. The one I'm thinking of is flat. I think Amish has like a little rounded top. Right. If, yeah. if I'm thinking of it correctly. But uh, I wanted to kind of go back. He said something about he was hearing sounding like kids outside of his, like outside, like when he was either in his room, I think it said. Yeah. I, I like. This is another scenario at the house, but I was with my other friend, Josh, not this oh, Josh. Yeah. This was years the before. Only one. Stuff's coming uh, out, folks. <laughs> <laughs> this was before I actually met Josh here, but uh, we we were just sitting there and um, we heard voices outside. We heard like it was like it sounded like it was coming behind us and. Where our couch was, it was like to the wall, and then right behind it was outside. Um, and then I went outside. I was like looking around, and I even kind of I yelled. I was like, "Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Blah blah blah. Hear me, hear me." And I, I feel like my voice carried enough. Yeah. And I came back in. And I was like, "Did you hear me?" He's like, "You said any? You said something?" It's like, so how could like if. He couldn't hear my voice. How could we have heard any like children walking around outside? Yeah, uh, talking. So that was another scenario that was pretty. It was pretty weird. 
Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Like, I've never but been the, in that like, situation. Like, but I've never actually had a real like. Never saw shadow people. Yeah, I've just had weird experience that like just was it was off. Like yeah. I, I told you guys the one story that I had when I went to the Hayeswood Hospital. We saw me and the other Josh saw uh, <laughs> saw uh, a gray. Try, like we all like the way that we we try to do it. It's like we all saw like we all kind of had a reaction. Yeah, and we're like, <gasps> like, and then we, he's like, hey, don't. He's like, shut up, don't say anything. <laughs> Pull your phones out. And at that time, it took us a bit where he wasn't the savviest of textures, and that was when there wasn't a full keyboard. It was a yeah, you had a you had to work for that shit. Yeah, yeah, like you texty texty like yeah. the regular way, it was uh, the old way. A phone call still made more sense. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he's like, write it out, and we'll go. Uh, like we'll we'll go from there, and yeah. uh, like we'll compare. I wouldn't say all, all of our question like what we wrote down were the same exact yeah but we we got the meat like i want to say the meat part like really to the t yeah similar something similar yeah Yeah. we both what did everybody say we both we both said that it we both said it was on the left side of the window bottom corner it looked like a child uh like a gray a small gray child having his hand outside the window and he's kind of peeking out. Yeah. Not in. But we all didn't get like creepy vibes. We got curious. Like he was wondering what we were doing there. Huh. And this was actually in the case of the dead hour. It was like three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Like, so uh, that's, uh, I, I just for once, the most part, just once I want to be haunted at 3 p.m. Yeah, <laughs> just one time, you know, I just want to go to somewhere in the daytime and be haunted at three three o'clock in the afternoon. That's all I'm asking. It can't always be in the middle of the night, you know. To uh, oh yeah, and I come, like talk <laughs> since we were talking about hats, I thought it was. Uh, I actually thought it was really cool because my element, like I, everybody seen like I think it was on Ghost Adventures, yeah, because uh, they went to Bobby Mackey so many <clears throat> times. Right. So they t- had a bunch of stories that were told to him. I think it was on Ghost of Answers. It might have been something else, another documentary of Bobby Mackey's. But the guy that apparently got he got the shit kicked out of him in the bathroom yeah. was my elementary school's janitor. No kidding. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> he said the guy was wearing a bowler hat. Like he said, the guy like he was in the he was in the bathroom, and the guy just kids. I think he said he just started to like fight him. And I, I, I think remember, he, I remember because he uh, the I he think kept someone in a whisper said kept saying yeah. tie game, tie game. Okay, yeah, it, yeah it's been forever games. since I've actually seen the video of him telling the story, but I, I don't I don't know what the significance of the hat is. Like um, I don't know if it's just a bowler hat. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah. He said a <laughs> bowler hat. So that was the first time. Like, because every time I somebody talks about a shadow person, they yeah. always it's like this kind of embellished hat. I I, I don't yeah, know, understand what. Like I was looking up pictures to try to get a better description, and it's kind of like a cross between the really creepy guy from Poltergeist oh, yeah. and and Jeepers Creepers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like poltergeist, but like like you said, like almost like uh um super embellished brim. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Where it's like almost it, shoulder width. Wow. Yeah, like that's why I like cuz I feel like I, I th- that's why I never understood the whole boulder head like man, how did you like unless you saw a full almost a full apparition, how could you have known that that was a boulder head? I would have just thought it was a bald ghost. <laughs> right uh, yeah like, yeah because oh, a bowler head it doesn't have that uh, like defined brim it's it's curled and surrounded you guys just reminded me uh today when i was at the uh bowling alley up here 
pretty close to us. I uh, I had to ask because you know when I'm there, it's it's not open really to the public yet, so it's big, very creepy, very dark. That building. place is creepy even when it's full of people. Yeah. So I asked the uh, the big the big hoss there. I was like, uh, I was like, hey man, I gotta know. Is there any good ghost stories here? And he looked me right in the eye and he goes, sometimes I even sleep here and I've never seen anything. And I'm literally like, <laughs> okay, oh, you got me, you know? And he's like, but there's another guy. And he gave me the guy's name to follow up. He uh, said, there's another guy that has one hell of a ghost story in regards to that place in particular. And he's like, he told me when to come up what night the guy will be there and his name so I can maybe get a get get him on tape or talk to him. So they said he's not shy about telling the story. Like he whatever happened it it affected him. I don't I don't know, you know. But the the guy who I was talking to was pretty much saying like he even sleeps there sometimes and he's like <laughs> nothing nothing in all of his years he's ever seen. Right. Pretty cool. Same with the uh the, the carry out. Uh Mike's yeah. Mike's carry out up there. Uh, by the way, not your, your Rolling Rock is there. Yeah, they're they're not sponsoring this, but you know they carry a lot of beers we like. <laughs> um, there's a pretty interesting story uh, coming out of there that I'm working on all the details and another recording, kind of like uh, today's that I I shared with you guys. It's just it's sometimes it's easier, you know. That sometimes it's easier to just be like, hey, you know, can I get get a statement? Can you tell me, you know, about this, and I'll record it and share it with the guys and you know what I mean? Give us stuff to, to riff back and forth on, you know, but yeah, there's a, there's a, when they first told me, I was like, that happened here. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> it was one of those stories, you know? So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I'll have that, all the juicy deets for you guys. That's going to be pretty fun. <laughs> guys, we're at like an hour here on this show. So I don't know if you guys want to, let these guys have their have their episode. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna put this together. I might there might be a delay on the video part of this, but uh, we got it. We got video. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do next, but we got it, guys. You guys out there are in for a treat. Yeah. <laughs> and those of you listening on the uh, the podcast uh, platforms that can't see us, yeah, pop over to YouTube. Yeah. Just for a minute. Pop over. Say hi. Just come say hi. Yeah. Because we've got a problem with uh, yeah, YouTube people disappearing. Yeah, I don't think they're getting the the what do you call it? They're not getting the notifications. Unfortunately, I think that all of the people that used to be there, yeah. that used to listen to every episode, yeah. are slowly being sucked into the void that is not Wyoming. Oh God, it's the not Wyoming, <laughs> and they're just disappearing. Yeah. That's the only explanation I can come up with. I'm just saying we're going to have to do something for eventually it it's, I just, this feels like it's going to become a cult. Like I, it just has that feel. I don't know what it is. You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm finding myself wanting to join already. And there's like, it's not even a thing yet. You know what I mean? Right. I'm ready. Let's do this. I don't, I don't believe in Miami. <laughs> All right. You guys out there listening at home or maybe watching this. I don't know. You take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next one. Mwah. See ya.
Thank you.